Hello everyone, today we will be talking about temperature control system. Please stay tuned. There are many electrical systems nowadays, but today we will be talking about a common control system. It is a combination of elements connected in such a manner to regulate temperatures. It's a very useful feature nowadays and it would automatically control the temperature of a system or an area. There are two types of temperature control system, manual and automatic. Manual is manual controlled and could be utilized in non-basic application where a little change and you can change it manually. An automatic temperature control, the temperature is estimated by sensor such as thermocouple, RTD, thermistor, changed over the controller to a set point for the ideal temperature you need. So I'm going to be talking about the block diagram. As you guys can see, we have a closed loop control system. And we have the input signal goes through the controller, which controls the input signal, and then goes to, through the process. And if it processed, then goes to the output. Otherwise, a feedback signal comes out. The aim of this project is to automatically turn on or off the fan by detecting the surrounding temperature applications this temperature control system could be in ac water heater refrigerator and also could be executed in venters and cars parts required for this project temperature sensor op amp motor driver ic 12 voltage dc fan resistor potentiometer breadboard connecting wires and 12 volt power supply our circuit design, we have LM358, has three pins, VCC, data, and GND. Connect the VCC and GND to 12V and GND respectively and form voltage divider and 10 kilo ohm resistor, the output of the voltage divider given to non-inverting input, pin 3 of the LM358. A5 potentiometer is connected to the inverter input pin in pin 2. LM325 pins 8 and 4 are connected to the V, 12V supply and GND the output at 1 is connected to the pin 3 which is first divider put of the motor driver IC. The pin 7 of L293D is connected to the GND, pins 1 and 8 and 16 are connected to 12V supply and pin 4, 5 and 12 and 13 are connected to the GND, the motor and the, and 12, the, the 12V PC fan is connected between pins 3 and 6. The next page is going to be explaining more in the pictures of what I explained. Thank you. Here is our wiring circuit and what I explained earlier. We will be talking about the working principle. This system includes an input, a control gadget, output, and the feedback. The input is normally a sensor. Constantly screenshot the test parameter. The LM sensor that monitors the temperature the information from the output is given to, to the control gadget. This control gadget will activate the output as per info signals. The LM sensor OPM is a controller and it goes about a combatter on the off chance that the temperature is more than ideal temperature. We have to initiate the fan along these lines we have after a, pot a potentiometer with the end goal that temperature increase over the set point the high output from the op amp is given to the motor driver and the fan and it shapes the output portion in the control of the control system the l293d is high and the fan begins rotating this will cool off the environment and this is what Marvel goes about as feedback in the control framework. 
Now, the temperature diminish and the LM35 sends it and it signs to the OPM to turn off the fan. Here is an idea how the implantation looks like. Finally, I realized the advantages of this project. The Ventus actualized the closed loop control framework for naturally alerting the temperature. This framework is more proficient than an open circle framework as yield presently observed as an input. There is no complex circuit involved and this project is a cost effective.